So good morning, ladies. I am Amaya morning. from Big Gold Belt Media. It's a pleasure to be here with you all this morning. Congratulations on season three and being picked up by stars. I'll start with you, Holly. How are you feeling about that, about that transition and that big step with stars? You know, super good, uh, super good. It's just like, it's just taken so darn long. But other than that, um, I feel really good. I feel really good. I just like, I'm excited for more people to see the work of so many great artists, you know, that worked on the show in so many capacities, so. Awesome. And Jamaica, what drew you to, of course, being the choreographer for Step Up? Is there anything different about this project than projects you've been on previously? Oh, absolutely. What drew me is one, this lovely woman right here, when I interviewed with her, um, she said she wanted it to be based out of Atlanta and she wanted, she used the word raw and I always use that. Like I always want authenticity. I want street dancing. I wanted to have a bit of rawness to it and great storytelling to dance. Um, and always been a fan of the Step Up franchise. So this was like an honor right. to like, oh my God, I get to be a part of the t TV series because as an, a dancer, we all grew up on Step Up movies. Like it was the, it's the ultimate. So put all that together, <laughs> of course I had to come do this. <laughs> right, right. Yes, okay. yes. Holly, what made you want it to be based in Atlanta? the story um truthfully when i pitched it it was based in oakland um i wanted a place that had an authentic historic dance culture street dance culture that was um rooted in a culture and rooted in a history and i um and i was kind of most familiar with with oakland just because i live in l.a and then I found out we could not shoot in Oakland. And they said, can you shoot in Pittsburgh? <laughs> I said, I don't know about the authentic street dance culture. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we checked out like, you know, and then they said, well, what about Atlanta? I'm like, oh, Atlanta, well, sure. Hell yes, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, so um, if it's Atlanta, you know, it's gotta be Jamaica. And then um, really, I just fell in love with Atlanta in the five, Five years since we've been doing. I've, I've mm -hmm. fallen out in love with Atlanta. It's dance culture. It's musical culture. Everything about it. Um, so yeah, it, it was it was meant to be there. Really. I awesome. Think. I got it. Okay. What um what is it like? And this is for you, Jamaica. What is it like working with, of course, Neo and the dancers themselves uh, on the choreography? What's it like? Um, it's hilarious, um, and we have a lot of fun. We have more fun than serious moments. Um, <laughs> and that's how we like to keep our family. And mm -hmm. what's a little bit different, let's talk about the relationship between me and Neo, because I'm actually Neo, a real choreographer for the Neo brand. Yeah, okay. since our, we've been together since its first album. And right. then to so come and- Completely separately. Like we heard it first, right? Yes, yes, yeah. before knowing. And then, <laughs> and then to go into the TV show and be um, his choreographer for Sage. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we both have to go like this and go, this is not the Neo moment. This is Sage moment, Sage. Sage would do this. This is why you need to bring your ass to rehearsal because you got to learn this because Sage would do this not Neo. So it, it's kind of like those cool challenges only because we work together creatively on different things, me and him. So that part is fun. And then the dancers, actors slash amazing dancers. It's amazing because they are star power in their own rights and world. And so bringing that energy together with me and as far as creativity, what I was just saying was, um, I was able to allow them to be even more creative with their own character and movement because right. I adore their own creativity so damn much that this is why it's really cool is to develop everybody's thinking power and moving power. Absolutely. Inside of the show. Okay, awesome. Um, back to you, Holly. What 
which character did you find the most challenging to write the script for or anything that stood out? You know, um, I wish I could answer that. Like I, um, Jamaica knows I consider myself kind of the midwife of the show and not the creator of the show. So like we have various people, like I really bring in one particular writer to write Sage. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really write, like Sage's big moments, um, a writer named Haji writes, um, cause he just kind of channels that, um, you know, I would find, I would find that difficult if I was doing it, but right. I'm not doing it. Um, I do find, um, you know, um, I've always found Tal um, a really interesting character to write. And that's another character that's had a, um, an actor change. Mm -hmm. um, and if I had known that I was getting Keenan Lonsdale for that part, I would have completely rewritten Tal to showcase everything that Keenan can do because he's amazing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're all like, you know, they're all kind of trippy in their own ways. It's like, you know, really about though getting their vernacular and how they speak and their back, you know, like um, when I read people's scripts, um, I find like a, a, a really common error, even in pro scripts, is that all the characters sound alike. Um, so um, what we, in the writer's room, we have people though that really identify with specific characters. Right. It would be kind of a pain for me because like, Poppy wouldn't do that, Poppy would not do that. Like, well, okay. So, but, but she has to kind of do that, you know, like, so, but they really embody the voices of those characters. And um, a lot of TV is pretty collectively written. I don't think people know that. Like there's a person's name in the script, but you know, everyone generates the story. So. I got you. Well, I have only seen the first three episodes of season three. I'm excited to see the rest of it. Kind of was upset I only got three episodes, but I'm going to wait like everybody else. But thank you so much for the opportunity to speak with both of you. I wish you much success on this season and congratulations again. Thanks, Maya. Thank you, Maya.